Okay, on the support roller bracket, I want to start out, I believe, by drawing essentially that shape right there, plus the, uh, if you look at that from a front view perspective, uh, or in this case, the back view, I want to draw this shape right here and extrude that back, and then I have to cut some away from all the edges. So I think that's what we'll do on this. Uh, so I'm going to go to the front plane, create a sketch, and I want to start drawing that shape now. Uh, oh, let's see, I think most of the dimensions, basically come from the center. So I'm going to use that as my center point, and I'm going to go up. And essentially, I'm going to create the inside, and I'm going to come back out. That shape probably come down here like so, and then we'll go back up. And we'll see if we can't draw this and then mirror it. Either way, it will work, but there's no sense to create a bunch of extra material there to have to work from. So, let's see. Um... It says the inside of that is 10.125, so if I put a dimension in there uh, from this line to this line of, and let's say, uh, it doesn't look like I had parallel. Notice I've got a degree symbol in there, so we're going to delete that, and we're going to add relation between this line and this line. Make those parallel. Looks a little better. Also, I want to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that line right there is vertical, so we're, we're good on that. Okay, now we'll put that dimension in from this line to that line. And by the way, if uh, look what we've got there. That's metric again. I forgot to switch it, so let's go back and do our tools, options, uh, document, units, inch-pounds, seconds, and four places. Our dimensions should be good. And we'll say OK. And note, it's now in inches. So now we're going to double-click that. And we'll say 10.125 divided by 2. Oh, and I should have done that outside number first, shouldn't I? Although it doesn't give that. But from here to here, oops. Uh, put in a dimension. From this line to this line, 1.5. Okay, then we note two that we've got. Uh, actually, we've got two different bottoms here. So we actually from this bottom up to here, I believe it is. That shows up as uh, 7.375 minus. 0.25 then we've got a dimension from here to here maybe of 1.25 minus one, uh, 0.25 so it's 1 and now I've screwed up this line so let's take that line and see if we can't do something with it let's take that point and move it up Okay, and then it tells me, uh, let's see, what else does it tell me? The, oh, it tells me that there's a four inch wide, it's four inches wide total, and well, actually it tells me that that diameter in the middle is three and a half, so the distance from this line to this point is 3.5 divided by 2. And then, let's see, uh, we also have, whoops, I, did I measure, did I misread something? Oh yes I did, this number is not 1. There was a 2.5 minus a quarter. So 2.5 minus a quarter 
that's a little better. I knew we had something off here. Okay, now and then we had to put in a circle. We'll just put it in out here anyway. And it's diameter in this case. The radius it says is 1.25, so 1.25 times 2. And then it also shows that that from the center line of that groove, uh, it's 3. Point, or I'm sorry, from the bottom up, it's 2.25. So we got to go from the bottom up two inches. located left and right um, well it's got to be tangent done and tangent to this piece right here so we'll go uh, add relation between the, this arc and that and make it tangent okay and then we're going to uh, take out that line put in this line Put in tangent. And then we need to do some trimming. So we'll trim that out, trim that, that. Then we'll zoom in here and trim this, trim that. And that should be that, uh, that one particular shape. So we'll finish the sketch. We'll do an extrude. We'll flip the direction and we'll make that uh, four inches overall. And there's half of that piece. Now, the question is would you want to go in there and mirror it right away? Uh, and that's a good question. Well, now what I want to do is I'm going to go in there and let's just create a sketch on this face right here. look straight in on that. Now we can see that we've got to put in a circle and actually the way we drew this, the circle should come down here somewhere. I'm going to draw a line. And that line got a little crazy on me, didn't it? And it shows that it's tangent, but you might note there is it's not showing that it's tangent, sorry. So we're going to go in there and add a relation between this and that. Too much going on there. Let's take that face out. So we got the arc and the line, and those are going to be tangent. go back in there and make sure that that's uh, tangent and let's uh, let's in fact I'm just going to take that line out I, I'm not, not comfortable with it at all so I'm going to take it out and we'll draw another line tangent to there I didn't get a tangent there but I'm going to Now I'm good. Now I still have I need to trim that out. And then I'm gonna put in some dimensions there now. Uh, let's see. From the edge over to the center, uh, it'll be about two inches, shouldn't it? Then that radius is given as 0.7, whoops, I'm sorry, I started to read that wrong, right. yeah, 0.75, it's actually an inch and a half diameter, and uh, let's see, from the, from the very bottom, it shows that it's uh, 6.5, but we have to take a quarter inch off of that, so it's from 
compare to there is 6.25. And that would be one of my pieces that I cut out of that. And if I want, I could, and maybe that would be a good thing to do, uh, to go ahead and cut that in case we have to make any changes later on. I could go ahead and draw um, a line, let's say from here, um, up this way, break the chain and draw another line up this way, and then I guess the, uh, the next thing I'd want to do would be draw a line from here. And actually, I could go all the way over to here. And then we'll come from here down to there. And now we'll do one more line from here down to there. Then I can do some trimming. this out, that out, that, that, and I also need to put in some dimensions. Uh, it says from this line to there, and that's going to be, if it's three and a quarter overall minus that, uh, take that from four, that would be three quarters, so it would be uh, Half of three quarters is three eighths, so uh, two point seven, two point eight seven five, I believe, is the right number for that. Well, that looks pretty small, doesn't it? Looks way too small. Uh, let's do this. Let's delete that. But yeah, let's undo it so we can get that back out there. Now we'll delete it. Now, if we came off the center with a number from there to there, that would have to be 3.25 divided by 2, wouldn't it? And then likewise, we could do the same thing here. I guess I should have picked the, let's try picking the arc. I'll have it there. Okay, again, uh, 3.225 divided by 2. Okay, oh, and we lost, somehow we lost our number here, didn't we? That's going to be 3.25. And that looks a little better. Let's see, it says it's fully defined. Now what we can do with this, so essentially I've done, I've drawn this inside piece here and these two outside pieces to cut that out. So we'll go ahead and exit the sketch. And we're going to do a cut, an extrude cut. And we'll pick this profile, that profile, and that profile. And really we want that to go through all. better representation. Now then, uh, it also shows a, a 7.75 fillet on there, so let's go ahead and show that. That line and that line. We're good there. And I believe that's all for right now. Probably ought to hit the save button. That is the support uh, roller. Bracket. And that's for the video. Okay, then from there, what we can do. Uh, 
guess we ought to put that other rib on there. And that might be a good place for a rib, actually. Oh, that's going to be kind of a trick, isn't it? Okay, so let's uh, stop the video. Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and stop the video there and we'll, we'll pick back.